Dave Marnie then, total of 68, sorry, 80, 82 fights, 68 wins, 12 losses, two draws, seven wins come my way. Not, not the biggest bang in the world, whereas our friend over on the other side, Garcia. 39 fights, 25 wins, five losses, one draw, eight wins, coming by way of knockout. A five, three minute round of infusion rules, kickboxing action. Live for you here in Tenerife with me, Vinny Shulman, and of course, as ever, the Queen of Muay Thai, JK. Hey. Southpaw then, Imani. Nice. That was a good head kick to Very start the proceedings. Good. Big legs, hasn't he? Uh, Garcia. He seems to have a look in his eye tonight. Something mm. really, really wants it. That was nice. Oh, that was heavy inside leg. Very heavy inside. And of course, kicking with that back leg is his strongest leg. And if he can take that front leg out, he'll be doing a very good job. Slowing him down. And the Italian would have been looked at Giorgio Petrosi, who's probably the best south pole kickboxer ever, without doubt. So, see if we get some of that style with him. Heavy. Again. You know, it's not going to take too many of those till you really start to feel them. I think as well though, Julie, if he when he starts to if he starts to move to his right, makes him more vulnerable that kick inside the leg. He's looking to punch there, doesn't he? Just lifting his front leg up, trying to just take the rhythm away from Imani, but easier said than done. Very, and not say money. He's very, very flat-footed on that front leg too. I agree, yeah. He could be open for kicks inside and outside. Gonna fake his way in, tapping again on the inside leg. Garcia. Well, good distance here as well, though already. Garcia. So is Imani, they've got they've got the uh, distances off to a, off to a tee. Not no any punches from really, just all been a kicking uh, spectacle, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, at the shots at the minute, Garcia. I'd like to see him use the hands and mix it up a little bit because yeah. he's kind of playing the same game. Was that was a good left yeah, hand? It was. Close. Blocked it though, didn't he? Just as he went, yeah. but you can see the formula of what he's doing. You know, if you're fighting a really good kicker, you've got to mix it up. Don't try and match him with their own game. Just out of distance. Nice kick inside the leg. Good body shot. Good combinations from Garcia, but he backed up in a straight line there, JK. Yeah. He's getting that leg hammered, you know. Mani really fast on the return. Yeah. And again, reddening coming up the right side of Garcia as yeah. well. Terrific that. That's gonna be a mess. He's got heavy kicks, isn't he? Yes. Bruise instantly on that right. Yeah. Sorry, left knee. It's always a uh, thingy to me. Always seems when a, someone get, turns to a southpaw, turns to a southpaw, it's always writing on the wall. You know, when someone gets really leg kicked heavy and they switch stances, always always says to me that, that they're injured and they, you know, they want to stop getting kicked. Some sort of shenanigans going on in the corner. But, you know, stuff like so yeah, I mean. How would you score that? I'd, uh, I'd give the first round even, really, I'd say, because, you know, Garcia did make the play, threw some body shots and some kicks and punches as well, but that leg looks a bit sore, doesn't it? It does indeed. The, the left leg and the right side of Garcia is really taking punishment. I'd like to see him mix his game up. Yeah, so here's some of the action. Just a very nice sweep. That was the first few seconds of the round, but he started to get his distance better. Segundo the kick fuera. that was. We should see the battle pans laid out now. They've got a feel for each other. Going to round number two then of the scheduled five three minute rounds of kickboxing action here in Tenerife. Second so round. See what's going to change or if it's going to stay the same. It's changed to orthodox now, JK, for some reason. Imani. 
Good job to the body. You might find the shots will land a little bit easier now, Garcia. Used to fighting orthodox, back to southpaw. Nice Good time to. Starting to find his rhythm a little bit better now. Yeah, that's true. Nice kick inside the leg. He's doing that really well, you know. Good distancing. Got to have more than that, though, hasn't he? You know? That's a good catch, taking him down, taking away the standing leg. Right up, let his hands side. go, you know, Garcia. He's got nice shots. Was he not that, but I mean, both not really knockout specialists, these two. So uh, I think we're looking at a distance fight, to be honest. Yeah, I believe so too. But Garcia, when he's throwing the one shot, it is kind of landing. He needs to put four or five together and then throw the kick. He's feeling that leg kick now, you know. That was a good shot. And again, goes yeah, for really again. Nice. Yep. It's a strong left body Let's kick, go. but cool from Garcia. Nice twist. Oh, Ooh, good. Knee. Yeah, it was a nice knee. Walked into it as well. Yeah, he it's did. Full impact. Good well kick. <laughs> <laughs> Little spin around. His hands are coming down as well, Garcia. You know, he's just get that fake, that leg kick, keep hammering in that leg, and then whip that left kick around his top of his hands. You know, it's gonna be a. No time to lean back. Waiting too long, Imani, isn't he? Typical southpaw like yeah, a... He's waiting too long. He's doing good in deflecting the shots, but he's got to come back faster. Yeah. Typical southpaw, really, just... In the first round, he was. Good left hook to the body. I think he feels those left hooks. Just needs to open up a little bit more. Yeah. Goes for it again. Well, and a uh, more interesting round. A better round for Garcia, I would say. Um, just judging by the way he landed his shots. Yeah, two rounds down. Better round for Garcia. So we'll see. So the hard left inside kick. And again. Garcia just starting to catch the shots now. Takes away the standing leg. Catches it really well. Yeah, just on the heel. And really, you have good control of that leg then. If you just lift it up and then you can sweep that leg, they're yeah. going to go down like so a one goes to the Also to his left and really go underneath it. And he'll send him straight into orbit. Going to round number three then of this interesting fight. It's not really caught fire for me. I'm not going to lie. But we'll see. Third round. Nice. No, this is a treat for the viewers having a world title fight, even though it's not Infusion, ISKA. And let's hope in the third, fourth, fifth round they just step it up a little bit more. Sweeps in with the right hook to the body, was ambitious from Garcia. But Imani, it's not enough for me. I mean, right, you. He's established he's got that good inside leg kick. Well, that's it. You know, and he's not much to be, really much to his game, Julie, you know. Other than that. Pushes away. Tries to go for the catch again. Looks for the left hook. And he was good. He was clever. Really nice footwork there from Garcia. See that left hook to the body. 
and then steps around to the side. Smart work going in from the Spaniard. Very nice. Me. Starting to look a little bit more concerned now on the face of Imani. Yeah, you, the shots are landing. They're not landing on the outer arm. They're landing into the, the uh, midsection from Garcia. That's a good right hook. Oh, I took it well, though. Imani. low kick. Mani's gone back to single shots, hasn't he? Yeah. I think Garcia's given him something to think about and he's up to his game. And Mani's just not landing the shots like he was previously in that first Nice round. knee. Beautiful knee though, well timed. Nice Look of concern Garcia. in the uh, Italian's corner as well, you know. That's a fake his way in as well. Garcia being smarter. Good oh, shot over that the was top. A beautiful right yeah. hand from Garcia. <laughs> Jumping scissors knee. <laughs> Dead right hand over the top left kick to the body. Did you see how he whimpered with that left yeah. leg then? Yeah. That is starting to hurt. Another round, I'll give that to Garcia. Start to push forward to her, too late. Yes. Um, Imani and for me, Garcia's just throwing them all, you know, flowing more really. Yeah, you know, it's like, this is what I like, when the corner go and they spot a problem, they work on it straight away. As soon as he went in, that ice was on that leg. He yeah. had a better round, but he's actually gone back to his corner with more injuries. Yeah, I agree. Working the left hook very well, Garcia. Goes for the head kick. Yeah. He did a really nice move there that it's not more than shown in the slow mo way through. A left up to the body Garcia and just stepped to his own left as well, and that was some skill. And he's a good kid, this. And for me, he's winning this fight now. I'm going to round number four then. Two more rounds to go. Could there be a crowning of a new king? Or the champion stays the champion, we'll see. Fourth round. So here we go, into round number four. And this is with that head kick. If you just throw a single head kick, it's more than likely your opponent's going to move back. You have to disguise it. And again, this time from Garcia. Just a trip down. I really feel that left leg's causing him problems and just putting him a bit of balance. Good left hook. Very Coming out better though, Imani, hasn't he? Swings the left hook in. He's straining a little bit low there as fatigue sets in his round four. It's been a high pace fight and a lot of nervous energy. Oh, that was a good knee from Imani. Goes for the hard inside low kick again. Nice stepping knee from Garcia's thrown that well, you know. I like that. Yeah, he's doing it well. Trying to keep that left leg a little bit behind, so it's not getting caught by those kicks. That's a nice combination, that was a one two and a left up to the body. Yeah, a shot landing on the leg. Garcia needs to keep working away to the right-hand side of the body. Yeah. Imani, left hooks, left body kicks as well. Big head clash that yeah. was. Is it a cut? No, no, no cut. He's going 
definitely get a lump in his forehead from it, actually. Yeah. But... Garcia chases him down. Just let him knee again. He should throw another knee there, Garcia, while he had the time. Just seems to be more the putting the work in, the accurate work. And again, uh, so like that. And Armani throwing his own knee back. It's uh, it's more of a tight around this one, Julie, I'd say, than the previous three. It is, but Garcia's really got to do yeah. something special, doesn't he, to take the belt off the champ. That was a nice oh. shot. Again, that counter inside leg kick. to hold. And he's told him that because he's, he's pushing the forearm into the face as well, which is not in the rules. That was a good step from Garcia, good foot movement from him. Slight mouse under the right eye of Imani. It was a better round, a tighter round, couldn't score that one. Difficult that was, JK, for me. Well, so you go back to the corners, they have one round left. Garcia and Imani looking like the fitness is catching up with them. Heavy breaths being taken. Working on the uh, swelling under the eye of Imani. But here are some of the shots from that fourth round. And he's just off with that left hand, isn't he? Just not getting it on target, Imani, at times. Yeah, he did land that left hook beautifully, though. And inside kick back from Garcia. They've both been very cautionary as well, um, trying to get to grips with each other, and we'll see. For me, though, I think Darcy's in the lead, but that, don't take Segundo that to the fuera. So here we go, the crowd is going crazy. The crowd, them yeah. For the fifth and final round. So this round could be very Even important. Even last round. That's two. That was Beautiful. a nice shot. Really good footwork again. Right up, got sneaks in. I just wish Imani wouldn't throw those single body kicks. He needs to follow up behind them. Left hook and a right hand just pivots off Garcia. But the better footwork of the two. It's a nice shot for the body. Alongside that left knee. Oh, beautiful right hook just off balance there as he stumbles back to the canvas. Shots are being exchanged now. Better work from both parties. Needs to counter when he makes him miss, Gart, when he makes him money miss, he should throw his own shots. And even if it's just a flurry, Julie, it can catch the judge's eye. Coaches are telling their fighters to come forward. That was a beautiful shot. Garcia missing with the swinging hooks. Imani really comes back, swinging the knees in. He's done this earlier, Imani, I believe, though. Swelling under the eyes for both boxers, really, more so on Imani. Tip for tat at times. Spinning side kick. Spinning, but yeah, back fist as well. High cheekbones, aren't he, as well, Imani? Yeah, so. Rory. And headbutt again on the bridge of the nose. That's, yeah. Where they get a very much needed rest. He says he's good to go, but yeah, like you say, both these cheekbones are starting to swell. Yeah, feminine. <laughs> Trying to score with an EM Arnie now, and 
really coming up now. It might be fractured that you look how that's swelling now. Really, really. Yeah. Very nice. Look, nasty. it's the last Big round. right hand indeed. Yes, it is. Wouldn't be nice to carry on with that, would it? No. Looking for the left hook. The time's ticking away now. So we come into the last part of round Darcy's number five. you've got to try and go outside with the left hook. So they're going out with the right hand. Start throwing the left hook and yeah. damage that eye. He's slightly leaving it alone, basically. Yeah. They do come in there yeah, in they bump do. heads. They do. Really it's bad not helping that swelling, is it? Crowd getting behind this as the second stick away. Yeah. He does come in with his head gas here a lot, though. Yeah, very much. Look at that swelling. Well, there we go. Well, he holds his hands aloft, Imani, but I think Garcia's got that. I've always been... That's a nasty lump. Yeah, I've always been of one of uh, the more the work. But like I said, though, I don't know. I've never, you know, I've been wrong but a few times. <laughs> Quite a few times. Garcia getting his hands, make some noise. Are you, are you of the belief that you have to take it away from the champion? Or are you of the belief that it's a uh, oh. narrow ground on what that's about? Why, Why do they do that? Solicitamos la presencia en la jaula de Don Efraín Medina, vicepresidente del Cabildo de Tenerife, para entregar el cinturón al campeón del mundo. So we'll see. I believe it's the, we have a new champion here, in my opinion, but my opinion is only my opinion. Another judge. Let's see. Very nervous times around cage side here, ladies and gentlemen. Tentative moments, of course, as the judges collaborate, deliberate, and get their scoring in on our MC with the biggest lungs in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, winner by unanimous decision of the referees. Aniska, world champion in less than 67 kilos. The blue corner, Michael Garcia! He really did, yeah. Oh, I feel sorry for him. He really thought he won. He didn't win. Uh, the more work was done by Garcia. Garcia was, he lost the first round, and each round he was just edging. Yeah, and again, I just think he had a big, he had a big second and third round. Good share of the, good share of the fourth, and the third could have gone either way. But yeah, he, uh, I think he won. Here's the previous mayor just making the presentation. Garcia. Yeah, congratulations to Garcia and his team. And that was a very nice fight, JJ. Well, well done to him, new ISKA world champion. Hola, buenas tardes a todos. Primer lugar, dale las gracias a todos por ver este evento, que es un evento espectacular. Gracias a mi entrenador que se da la vida para poder organizarlo y poder todo disfrutar eventos como este. En segundo lugar, dale las gracias a mi rival, que mira, como bien sabe, siempre peleamos en casa, no nos vienen a regalar los títulos. Peleamos contra chicos top que vienen de todas partes del mundo. Aquí todos los títulos que yo he ganado me tienen que dar la vida para poder ganarlos. O sea que a la vista está la gente que viene de fuera y ve con los rivales que nos enfrentamos nosotros gracias a mi entrenador que viene lo mejorcito de todo el mundo. Yo, yo en particular le quiero dar las gracias a Efraín Medina que gracias a Efraín Medina este deporte en esta isla 
ha crecido a niveles que nadie jamás y nunca podía haber llegado. Muchas gracias a él y a todo el público por haber venido. Muchas gracias y nos vemos en la próxima, que vendré más fuerte, intentaré ganar más claro para no sembrar ninguna duda ni a los entrenadores ni a mis rivales. Muchas gracias a todos y que disfruten del evento que queda. Las palabras de Michael García, campeón del mundo de la ISCA en 67 kilos.